Hello, I'm Gordon Leishman, Minta Martin Professor in the Aerospace Engineering Department at the University of Maryland College Park. 2007 marks the 25th anniversary of the Rotocraft Center at the University of Maryland, now called the Alfred Gesser Rotocraft Center. Join me as we look back at the center's evolution and its major accomplishments and contributions to Rotocraft technology. Back in 1980, the U.S. Army's Vertical Lift Technology Review Committee realized that typical academic degrees in aerospace engineering lack education in rotating wing aircraft technologies relying instead on industry to provide on-the-job training. Recognizing the limitations of this, the committee recommended instituting programs at select universities that could be dedicated toward providing rotocraft education and research. Soon after, in the fall of 1982, after an intense competition, the U.S. Army Research Office established three centers of excellence, the Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, at the Georgia Institute of Technology, and at the University of Maryland. At Maryland, the center was named the Center for Rotocraft Education and Research. For the first time, the nation, and perhaps the world, had three major universities supporting rotocraft education and offering a diverse array of courses in helicopter design and analysis. This rapidly increased the number of new masters and doctoral graduates that had specialized rotocraft training before they went into government or industry jobs. The core disciplines taught and researched in Maryland have encompassed the entire field of rotocraft technology. Aeromechanics was the main focus of the research at the newly established center. Studies were undertaken into rotor aerodynamics, flight mechanics, rotor load prediction, helicopter gust response, composite rotor analysis, and rotor air elasticity and stability issues. Much of the initial funding for the center was provided by the Army Research Office, but quickly a significant number of research grants were obtained from other divisions of the Army, the Navy, NASA, and the helicopter industry. In 1984, the center received a major instrumentation grant from the U.S. Army Research Office to refurbish a comprehensive rotor test rig and a six-component balance to undertake experiments in the university's Glen Martin wind tunnel. This rotor rig was capable of testing various hub and blade configurations of up to seven feet in diameter. Complex dynamics problems were investigated, such as the aeroelastic stability and rotor response of a rotor in forward flight with particular emphasis on hingeless and advanced bearingless rotor designs. Aerodynamic research in the wind tunnel provided an improved understanding of the effects of blade shape on performance, as well as an understanding of the aerodynamic interactions between the rotor and the airframe. Using the rotor test rig and a pressure instrumented fuselage model, valuable experimental data were collected, increasing the knowledge base on a problem that had not been previously examined in significant detail. Rotor dynamics and air elasticity research have been important programs at the center. Smart structures have been utilized to augment the behavior of the rotor, addressing methods of vibration suppression, ways of increasing aerodynamic performance, and how to eliminate air and ground resonance. Much of this work began in the early 1990s. Active twist blades with embedded piezoactuators were found to change the amount of spanwise blade twist with the application of an electric field and were capable of actuating a response up to five times per rotor revolution. For the first time, they offered the potential for modifying aerodynamic characteristics, which is important for adapting the rotor to different flight conditions, such as hovering flight or high-speed forward flight. The feasibility and performance of these so-called smart rotors were conducted with the use of dynamically scaled rotor models that were tested in the center's facilities, such as the 10-foot diameter vacuum chamber, the hover tower in the high bay, and the Glen L. Martin wind tunnel. The advantages of smart actuators installed into rotor blades can provide significantly increased performance to the rotor system with minimal weight and size penalty. Many of these smart systems have now begun to see their way onto full-scale helicopters for flight testing, and eventually they will work their way onto production helicopters. Composite structures research has been given much attention by the aerospace community because composite structures exhibit high strength properties while saving weight over conventional metallic structures and also possess structural properties that can be tailored as needed. This is ideal for a rotor blade. Experimental rotor blades tested at the center have featured a foam core and fiberglass skin sandwich construction which are manufactured in the microprocessor controlled autoclave. Research initiatives at the center have investigated the failure mechanisms of composite materials, considering the effects of water absorption, cyclic loading, and high temperature environments. Finite element modeling has been used to understand the effects of composite rotor blades undergoing coupled axial bending and torsion deformations, taking into account ply layups 
and blade shape. The center has been actively engaged in rotorcraft flight dynamics and control for over 20 years. The main area of research continues to be advanced flight dynamic simulation modeling. The models have been especially tailored toward flight control system design with appropriate mathematics required for these applications. Our students have developed very advanced simulation models, all based on first principle physics and capable of modeling rigorously any kind of flight maneuver, including steep turns and flight into the vortex ring state. Aerodynamics research at the center has looked at the modeling and simulation of the highly unsteady aerodynamics of the rotor, and especially during maneuvers and other challenging flight conditions. Pre-vortex and blade-tip vortex models have been developed to better understand the aerodynamics of the rotor. Extensive wind tunnel testing has been done to validate various types of rotor aerodynamic analysis. Tests have looked at Mach number and Reynolds number effects, dynamic stall, and rotor fuselage interactions. This has included dynamically scaled rotor models with advanced blade geometries. Flow visualization techniques such as Shadowgraph and Schlieren and quantitative diagnostics such as laser Doppler velocimetry and particle image velocimetry have been used to make the measurements of the rotor weight structure and the structure of the blade tip vortices. With military helicopters operating more in desert environments, pilots struggle with the issue of brownout, where the uplift of dust and sand can result in the loss of visual cues, making landings extremely difficult. More recently, the aerodynamics research has focused on the analysis and modeling of this brownout issue, with the goal of providing mitigation procedures for rotorcraft operations in austere environments. The Computational Fluid Dynamics Group at the center has focused on developing numerical methods for the aerodynamic, structural, and acoustic simulation of all types of rotorcraft. This work has centered around the development of computer codes such as TURNS, which stands for the Transonic Unsteady Rotor Navier-Stokes Code and UMARC, which stands for the University of Maryland Advanced Rotor Code. Specialized features of these mathematical models include refined analysis of bearingless rotors, rotors with advanced geometries with swept tips, tilt rotors, and various types of smart structures. 